Hey there, for your next trip, this is a viewer requested travel hair care video. I will share travel tips on packing hair accessories and the best hair care products for your next trip. The most important travel tip for hair care is to pack your own shampoo. When you are on vacation away from your doctor is not when you want to find out that you are allergic to some kind of shampoo or hair care product. You never know if you're going to have a reaction. For traveling with shampoo, here are just four quick options that I shared on my Instagram page. Number one is to buy your shampoo at the location. Number two is to just use the hotel's cheap shampoo. And at some resorts, my friend Dawned on Me blog reminded me that they sometimes have better quality ingredients in their shampoo than I do. Number three is to pack a travel size container of your own shampoo. Another option is to travel with one of those shampoo bars. That way you are not taking up space in your liquids bag. Let me know in the comments if you have ever tried one of those shampoo bars. Here's one travel tip about traveling with shampoo. Do not use the cheap brand containers to pack your shampoo in. I recommend GoTube by Human Gear and that's because they have a seal and a lock uh, protection that is going to keep your liquids from leaking. Another friend just uses a Joyco brand and she just keeps refilling that travel size container with her own shampoo, Joyco. I usually do not travel with my conditioner. I will use the hotel conditioner, but this set that I'm linking comes in a set of three, just in case that helps. My hair is very sensitive to dry weather and a change in latitudes and attitudes and I get dry scalp sometimes so I have to use my own Kenra shampoo. When you pack your hair care products in your liquids bag for airport security know that the Transportation Security Administration said that any liquid, gel, or aerosol is all considered a liquid and the containers must be 3.4 ounces or less or 100 milliliters or less. So you can't travel with your huge bottle even though there's a, only a little bit of shampoo or liquid or gel in there. Another packing tip that took me 10 years of travel to figure out and test is to pack your liquid containers horizontally. You can fit more of them in a liquids bag, I promise. A lot of you have used the shampoo bars by Lush and I decided to try one from Amazon. I also got one from the Fly Girl box. It's a monthly subscription for women who like travel. It's done by a flight attendant. I'll put that link just in case you want to give that for a gift for Christmas. I did it for several months, almost a year. This travel bar that I found is made in the USA and it says that it does not strip your hair of essential oils. It's paraben free and sulfate free. And then I got the cutest little travel bar case. It comes in a set of four or you can buy a soap dish and two little shampoo bar cases. And a travel tip is that you can also use plastic baggies. I have a video of travel hacks or travel tips using plastic baggies in all different kinds of travel destinations that I will link for you. I usually travel with a wide tooth comb. My teenage son loves this kind of a comb to travel with. And my husband packs in his pilot suitcase a regular hairbrush. So you don't have to buy one of those folding travel brushes if you don't really need it. I made a hair tutorial on how I curl my uh, loose beach waves that I will link for you. It's kind of old and the noise is kind of weird to listen to, but it's also on my Instagram IGTV if you follow me at Travel Tips by Laurie. When I was making my latest video about Amazon Prime travel items, I noticed that there were several convenience kits that you could buy with hair care products in there. I do recommend the one for men. I think that's really cool and a good gift idea. But a lot of these kits have 21 essential items. I just want to make sure that if you are looking at that kind of thing as a woman that you see how many of those can actually fit in your liquids bag. But another travel tip is that you can also just make your own with the products that you really will use. I also have a video about making your own amenities kit as if you were flying first class and received this free amenities kit. Free. Curling irons, curling wands, hair straighteners, and all of the travel hair tools that are out there are allowed in your carry-on bag or liquids bag. If your hair straightener is still super hot, you can buy one of those travel curling iron things that you fit them into. I think your curling irons nowadays cool off quickly enough that you don't really need it. A travel hack is to just use a 100% cotton sock 
as your curling iron cover. I really do not think you need a travel sized curling iron or hair straightener. I think that's a little gimmicky. I just make mine fit in the wall, one of the walls of my carry on suitcase. But you know that someone has made a travel size curling iron and they've even made a two in one. So it can be a curling iron or a hair straightener. And this one that I found for you is only one inch in diameter. I use a half inch curling iron barrel for my curls. I don't know if you are even interested in that, but I found it. I think hair ties are a personal decision. I obviously do not need to travel with them, but there are some cute ones out there. I do travel with these teeny tiny hair clips and I'll put my hair up, especially if I don't feel like curling my hair that day. This travel hair dryer is the kind that I bought my mom for her trip to Israel. She's used it for two years and it has held up just fine. It's compact for your suitcase. It folds and it's not the wheezing loud kind, but it is the 1875 wattage or whatever poof of air that you need in a little compact size. I actually do like hair dryer bags, but I don't think you need them, but I have found a cute one for you if that's a gift you also would like to give somebody. You can also just use a trash bag. <laughs> if you're vacationing on a lake or especially if you're camping, don't forget those hats. There are some that say lake hair don't care, um, camping hair don't care. Those are great options. And for road trips, I really like taking like a cowboy hat. I got mine from Walmart probably 10 years ago. Okay, let's talk travel size dry shampoo. What is your favorite one? I was a skeptic for years because they smelled and they made my eyes stick together when I tried to close them. I'm sensitive to smells, but this is my favorite one so far. It is a Mika called Perk Up. I got it as a little sample in my Sephora Play bag like a year ago, and I still have not even used all of it. In my recent video, I asked people to guess whether or not they could tell which video I had made with dry shampoo, like I had to film on two separate days. So the one that was fuller and it looked fresher to me was the one where I used dry shampoo and it was this brand. I have very limp hair. You can tell after I have videoed or in the humidity, my hair just goes bored straight and it's limp, but I have a lot of it. So I need some volume and this was great for volume. It doesn't smell. It does have a scent, but it does not smell in a harsh way to me. Marty Goldberg, a fellow YouTuber about lifestyle and fashion, also recommends the Living Proof brand of dry shampoo. And for any product that you are trying, it might be the same price, but I just recommend buying the travel size. I always buy travel size mascara because it lasts almost just as long and it's smaller. Do not forget my travel hack for hair that I was able to share on our local TV station, and that is to store your bobby pins in an old Tic Tac container. And another travel hack is if you are in a hotel room with daughters or other gals, is to use the ironing board as an extension of your countertop but remember to put the dish towel or the hand towel on there in case there are any sprays or colors from your makeup that gets on it. You can also use this pink sponge curler as a travel hack. You're going to unclip it and then wrap your headphone cord around the pink sponge and then clip it back if you want to so that the headphones and the headphone jack are sticking out of the curler. As with all of my videos, I know I have probably forgotten one travel tip that's amazing about hair care. So just leave it in the comments. Be sure that you always read the comments because people put their tried and true honest opinions as well and the recommendations. If you are new here, be sure to click that bell and subscribe so you will never miss a free travel tip video. As a pilot wife, I've made tons of mistakes. Anyway, I appreciate your time that you spend here with our worldwide community of travel lovers. Say hey if we have not met before. Thanks again.